Hello and welcome to episode number 98 of the Daily Sales Message, where each and every single day for at least the last 98 days in a row now, I'm so close to 100, 98 days in a row, I've provided you with a piece of simple and actionable advice that's designed to help you feel more confident and sell more stuff too. If you're new to the podcast, my name is James Newell and I teach people how to sell for a living. And for me, it comes in two very distinct components, two stages. First of all, you need to have a clear sales message. People have to understand the nature of your offering. Secondly, you then have to have selling confidence, the ability to be relaxed and comfortable and confident in a selling situation. I don't know why I'm getting all serious here, but I am. <laughs> I'm not usually this serious. In this episode, I'm going to share with you five words that articulate my approach to following people up. These five, so I've got to hype it because only five words. We're going to stretch this out a bit. These five words, people have listened to me talk, seen a post on LinkedIn, made a comment on LinkedIn about the five words I'm about to share with you. And they've told me it's changed their life and they've achieved all sorts of fabulous things as a result. I'll tell you what the five words are. Don't chase them, replace them. Don't chase them, replace them. This has been my mantra when it comes to following people up for the longest time. I don't chase them, I replace them. And that's to remind me, and bonus points if you know exactly which rap song I took that from or which rap artist inspired me with those lyrics, but I don't chase them, I replace them. That causes me to remember that my time is more productively spent finding new potential buyers and opening up new conversations rather than trying to endlessly chase up and follow up people. Yes, people need a certain amount of follow up. Of course they do. And I'm not saying we don't follow people up at all. That's not what I'm saying. But what we do need to do is place more of a focus on acquiring new prospects and new uh, people to talk to than following up the same people oh just checking in did he get my email did he get my email i had one guy on linkedin i won't name him because i'm not that kind of a person but he really really got on my nerves he sent me 12 messages over the course of a few weeks 12 messages i didn't respond to a single one of them 12 messages and he was trying to get me to download his free guide for so would you like my free guide would you like my free guide would you like my free guide he was literally just sending the same stuff it's slightly tweaked but pretty much the same in the end i did respond i said look yes i got your 12 messages and no i'm not interested please can you stop messaging me and please can you find a different way to do this because it's quite frustrating that you're just messaging me you're ignoring the fact that i'm not responding to you so following people up is important but you don't want to do it too much and there's certain ways and means of doing it and i talk about that in lots of my programs with my students etc but for here for a workable strategy for you here now today don't chase them replace them don't worry about looking at that list of prospects and thinking oh what excuse can i have today to email these people to chase them up forget it if they've not come back to you they're not interested or it's not a priority right now don't worry about it. We can park them for the time being and we can just put that effort into finding 10, 20, 50, 100 more people. Because trust me, if you're able to actually do this, take your foot off of the following up uh, kind of merry-go-round and go for the prospecting and finding new people and advertising, connecting and DMing and whatever you do to get leads into your business, put more focus on that. You'll have more people. And when you're talking to more people and you've got more conversations, you've got more options and there's less pressure. And you'll feel better about everything. And I generally don't follow people up as a rule anyway. And I'll get into that in a different episode of the Daily Sales Message. But I don't generally directly follow people up anyway. And there's nothing nicer than somebody coming back to me, seemingly out of the blue, saying, Hey, James, hope you're well. I'm ready to proceed. And I've not had to touch base, check in, and <laughs> essentially beg them and hound them into doing it. They've come back to me of their own accord. That's the kind of situation that you want and that's more likely to happen if you're talking to more people and you have more of a carefree, 
breezy, to quote friends for a second there, a breezy approach to your outreach and to your follow-up. So don't chase them, replace them, give it a go. Remember that mantra. I've got it printed. I used to have it printed in my office. Now it's printed on my brain. Um, so many of my students that I lecture to, so many of my clients really, really recognize that phrase, put a lot of value in it, and it just helps navigate, helps them, sorry, to navigate things on a daily basis. That's it for this episode number 98 of the Daily Sales Message. Tomorrow is episode number 99. 99. And we're going to be looking at success for your buyer and a particular thing about it that will help you to sell your offering to them and for them to understand what they're going to get. And if you're any good for them, you have to tune in tomorrow to find out about that. In the meantime, if we're not already connected on LinkedIn, please do connect with me. Shoot me a DM. Tell me that you're a listener of the Daily Sales Message and what you like and give me some feedback. It's always really lovely to hear the real world stories and the cool stuff that everybody gets up to. This podcast is listened by listened to by so many people across so many different countries. It's fascinating to understand and hear where this podcast reaches, who it's reached, how it's touched people, how it's affected them. So by all means, connect with me. Say hello and let me know how you're getting on. As always, I really appreciate your time and attention. Hopefully this has been another useful uh, five or six minutes of your time. I'll see you tomorrow for the next daily sales message.